Welcome friends. So, this is part 2 of the course defects in crystalline solids. In the previous part, we explored fundamental concepts related to two major point and uh, two major defects. One is the point defect and the other was the line defect which is dislocations. Now, in this second part of the course which is shorter, uh, the earlier one was 20 hour lecture, this is 10 hour lecture. So, in this particular course, we will be looking at advanced topics such as we will understand in more detail the dislocations that are there in FCC materials, the extended dislocations, the partial dislocations, the intersection of these extended dislocations and so on. Then we will also look at uh, uh, advanced information about dislocations in BCC materials and some other type of uh, material, other type of systems like uh, HCP materials. Then we will also look at uh, some compound type of system like NACL system. Uh, how the dislocations generate over there and what can be different when you have a super lattice type of structure. This will also give us an understanding on why nickel super alloys are considered super alloys. Now, they have something called as uh, Keir Wildorf locks that is formed uh, from the dislocations and these dislocation locks when they form it so happens that higher the temperature more these locks and therefore, the properties also that is the mechanical strength of these materials also increases with increasing temperature which is a anomalous behavior. What you expect usually is that with increasing temperature strength should decrease, but in nickel super alloys the strength increases with temperature up to a certain point and that is a very unique phenomena and very useful for us. So, that is something that we will explore when we talk about these different types of uh, and dislocations in different types of crystal systems. Apart from that, we will also look at interaction of dislocation with uh, dislocation which leads to strain hardening. We will also look at interaction of dislocation with point defects which leads to different kind of solid solution strengthening and even other types of strengthening mechanisms. We will also understand some other plastic deformation related behavior like yield point phenomena that is observed in low carbon steel and that is again due to you can say dislocation and point defect interaction. And later in the uh, in this course, we will also look at formation of boundaries, grain boundaries low particularly the low angle grain boundaries because of the interaction between dislocations. So, they form a straight array which then leads to the formation of grain boundaries. Now, who will this course be useful for? Like the previous time, this course would be very useful for undergraduate students and also for graduate students in the first year. This course will also be useful for people working in the manufacturing industries like iron and steel companies, automobile companies, equipment manufacturers who want to understand the concepts behind the uh, mechanical properties or mechanical behavior of materials. So, this course will give you the fundamental relation between these defects and the mechanical property showed by the materials. And what do we expect? Again like the previous course, we expect undergraduate level mathematics uh, prerequisite from you. We expect your understanding at the level of thermodynamics from you, basic level thermodynamics not, uh, not at a very advanced level. So, with this introduction, we hope that you will join this course in large number and before that make sure that at even if you have not taken the part 1 of the course, at least you go through the video of part 1 course and then you will be able to get to understand the concepts in this course much more easily and fluently. Thank you.